Bonjour tout le monde. Today we are doing prono personnel. We have total five prono personnel and one is uh, subject pronoun, prono sujet. So we are discussing today direct object and indirect object in prono personnel. Normally we have five type of prono personnel, COD, COI, Y, O and pronotony. In class 10, all five type of prono you have to do. But in class 9th, for first term, normally we get uh, you get uh, uh, direct object and indirect object. And for final, I mean for term 2, Y and EN will be added. And now we are doing COD and COI. COE, uh, COD and COI. But is a full form of, full form of COD. C for complement, O for objet, D for, D for direct. C for complement, O for objet, I for indirect. As the name is telling itself that COD is direct object and it is indirect object. Direct, direct object means when there is an object after the verb only. So the formation of uh, this type of sentences are subject plus verb plus object so basically first is our subject second is our verb after that you will directly get an object example is il don le cadeau he gives the gift so don is a verb il is a subject and le cadeau is an object so this is cod direct object let's understand coi it is called indirect object and its sentence structure is subject plus verb after that a preposition plus object and object would be a person object would be a person so subject il don a sa me il is a subject over here don is a verb a is the preposition and sa mer is an object. Here the object is followed by a preposition. So it would be COI. Now let's see what are the words we use for COD and COI. For J, COD is M, COI is M. For two, T for COD, T is for COI too. For IL, it is L. Le for COI, it's Louis. For L, La and Louis for COI. For COI, masculine and feminine both would be same. There is no different word for feminine. So, nu, vu. It's nu, vu only for both. COD and COI, for both it's nu and vu. For il, sub COD is LES, le. COI is le. For L plural too, COD is le and COI is le. So where do we place these pronouns? These pronouns are placed before the verb. Before the verb. Okay. And now let's see the examples. Il don a sa mer. Here a is followed by sa mer which is an object. So this would be indirect object. And uh, Samer is third person. For third person, we will choose this Louis. So masculine, feminine, both it's same. So you will take Louis and you will place it before the verb. Il and Louis don. That's it. For COD, il don le cado. Il le cado is a direct object. For direct object, its uh, gender is masculine. For masculine, we take le, l e l. So we make it le. Le cadeau will become le and will be placed before don. So il don le cadeau a sa mère. Il le cadeau will become le. A sa mère will become Louis. And these both pronoun will be placed before the verb, which is don. So it would be il le don. Le cadeau is COD and Asa Mer is COI. It will be Il Le Louis Don. 
Okay, so this is called double pronoun. It means double pronoun. When we have two pronouns, and how do we place it? We will write le before and Louis after. It means direct object comes before and indirect object will come after. And place will be, its place will be before the verb. Both pronoun will be placed before the verb. Okay, il don le cado a se paho. Now I change the object, indirect object over here. I made it plural. Il don le cado. Earlier we were doing a sa mer. Now we are doing a se paho. So se paho is plural. For uh, C O I, what is plural? Plural is ler. So we will make se paho ler. So il le Lar don. Next, il don le cado a ma mère et moi. Now, what is this object? A ma mère, my mother is she, and moi means I, my mother and I. It would be we, right? So it will become nu. We will change it to nu and place it before C or D. I'll teach you where, what is the place of, uh, how do we decide the place. So, il, nu, le, don. Here, il, don, le, cado, a, ta, mer, e, toi. He gives the gift to your mother and you. So, your mother and you will be, vu. Il, vu, le, don. Because you place both pronoun before the verb. And now let's see how do we decide which pronoun will come before and which pronoun will be on the second place. So always our first place is me, te, se, nu, vu. Basically prono, uh, pronominal verbs. In pronominal verbs, se, me, te, nu, vu comes at the first place. And also uh, this these m, t, and nu from COD and COI will be placed before. So m, t, s, nu, vu. And after that, second place is l, la, l apostrophe, and le. Then third place would be Louis and ler. Right? That's why I wrote here l, ler because l has the second place and ler has the third place. Le Louis, le has the second place and le Louis has third place. So, le will come before Louis. And here, vu comes before le because the place of vu is place number one. Place of nu is place number one. So, you will place nu and then le and then vu. Okay, if there are two verbs in a sentence... Prono will be placed between both verbs. Now, here we learnt we always place the prono before the verb, right? But what will you be do if there are two verbs? So, it will be placed, prono will be placed before the second verb. Example, Tu peux me donner ton stylo. Can you give me your pen? Here, ton stylo is C-O-D and it is masculine. It will change to le and this le will be placed before the second verb here. As we saw the place, first place is me, te, nu, vu and so. Second place is le, la, l apostrophe and lui, uh, sorry, le. Third place is lui and le. Here, this is la, L, sorry, and it will come after me. Chup me done to stilo, chup me le done. If sentence, sentence is in passe composé, not only in passe composé, in plus ka parpe. In class 9th, we don't do plus ka parpe. Future interior, we don't do. But in class 10th, we do future interior and Plus ka parfait. So, if sentence is in passé composé, plus ka parfait and uh, future intent. Prono will be placed before the auxiliary verb. La verb auxiliaire. Okay, je donne le cadeau à ma mère. Je don, j'ai donné, sorry, 
le cadeau à ma mère. Je le lui ai donné. Because this is auxiliary verb, helping verb, and this is the past participle. You will place le lui before the helping verb. Yeah, in this, in passé composé too, if there are two verbs, uh, prono will be placed before the second verb, not before the auxiliary verb. In passé composé, we accord the past participle when COD is placed before the verb. J'ai donné, it means uh, in passé composé, like we do with être verb, we always accord the past participle, right? Or and here too, if pa uh, COD is placed before the past uh, Passé composé, in passé composé, if COD is placed before the verb, we always accord the past participle. I hope everyone knows what is the accord. Past pa participle gets agree with COD. Agree means if our, um, you know, COD is feminine, you will add an extra E. If our direct object is a plural, you will add an NS. J... We were here. J'ai donné la chemise à mon ami. Here, la chemise is COD, direct object, and it is in feminine. So you will make it la, place it here, and then you will add E to donner. J'ai donné la chemise à mon ami, la and Louis will be placed before A. Je, la, Louis, A, donné, donné with double E. Next is, j'ai donné les chemises à mon ami. Je les lui ai donné. With ES, because chemise is feminine and plural as well. So we will add an extra E for feminine and S for plural. If the object is not feminine, then we don't need to write E. We will simply write D-O-N-N, -N, E with accent and S. Since chemise is feminine, we have to write now, how do we do in negative form? In negative form, our sentence structure would be subject plus no plus prono plus verb plus pa. If there are two verbs, it would be subject plus no plus verb plus pa plus prono plus second verb. We see the example over here. Okay. Uh, we see here. For example, the subject is, uh, I mean, the sentence is il ne donne pas le cadeau. So, ne donne pas le cadeau. Where, where will you keep the prono? You will write ne over here before the prono and pa here after the verb. And uh, in two verbs, when there are two verbs, we write here no and write here pa. Right. But prono will come before the second verb only. So, je ne tu ne pa pa me le donne. So, here there is no difference. Only in the first type of sentences, you will write no before the prono and pa after the verb. In passé composé, subject plus no plus prono plus etro ravoa plus pa plus pas participle. I give the example here. So you will write no here. No, le, lui, e, pa, tone. Right? Because this sentence would be, je n'ai pas donné. So, je n'ai pas donné. It will become, je ne le lui ai pas donné. And how do we do in imperative sentences? In affirmative. With single pronoun. Me will become moi. Te will become toi. And will be placed after the word. For example, donne moi. Donne moi. 
Dima, give me, tell me. So you will always write like this. Ma will become moi and will be placed after the verb. The will become toi, will be placed after the verb. You can say pronominal verbs. It's like pronominal verbs because, because in pronominal verbs too, the becomes toi and goes after the verb. It works like that only. When double pronoun, ma will again become ma plus other pronoun. The will again become the plus other pronoun because moi and toi will come only when there is only single pronoun. If there is double pronoun, you won't write moi. It will again become ma. Done ma lo. Done ma lo. Right. Here we are not writing moi. It is ma only. Di mo, di mo. We are not writing moi over here. Basically, it is m e. So, when two vowels are together, we remove the first vowel and write e n. Now, when negative, what will we do when the imperative is in negative form? No, it's simple now. No plus prono plus verb plus pa. M will stay same. T will stay same. Okay, I take the same example. N, M, D, N, P. Or if using double prono, it would be N, M, sorry, M, L, D, N, P. So it is simple when uh, imperative is in negative form. When neg imperative is in not in negative form, then you have to change mo to to moi and toi and place it after the verb. Normally we place the prono before the verb, but here we place it after the verb. I hope everything is clear. It's a little complicated, but please uh, watch the video twice or thrice. You will understand. Thank you so much, everyone, for staying to the video. Bye-bye.